Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coding Editor Framework Beginner Tutorial and this is our part number 33. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about a string helper and coordinator. And also guys, if you are beginner to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Coding Editor Framework Tutorial. In our previous video session guys, we had discussed about Array Helper and Code Igniter where we had used about the methods actually provided by Array Helper. So if I back to our editor, now inside our previous video session, this is the route that we have made. It basically called a method something called helper underscore class inside this learn helpers controller. So if I back to controllers file, these are the methods or this is the helper that we have loaded in our previous video session. Inside this video, we are going to discuss about a string helper. So if I back to browser, just move to our project setup and if I type user guide here, so it will bring something like here. So let's say that user guide, press enter and if I go at the helper references and add the helper references, inside that we have something called a string helper. So I have simply clicked to open this page. Okay. So basically what a string helper is. So a string helper file contains functions that assist in working with strings. As we have seen so far that in our previous video session, array helpers basically used to manipulate or to do something functions with the array. So in the same way, the functions which basically use to manipulate or over the string are called string helpers. So how can we load that? So if I back to editor. So now this is the simple way to load any helper, this load helper and here we have to provide the helper name. So inside this video, we are going to load our string helper. So if I make comment of this line and let's say that this load, this is something helper and inside this helper method, we have to write something called a string. So if I back to documentation, just scroll down and this is something what we did. So if I back to code editor, now let's say that we are going to load two more than one means helper in a single line as what we have done like array. So inside this video, we are going to load the string helper in the same line. So if I uncomment this line, let's say that this is a comma separated and let's say a string as we have two values. So we have to pass inside our array and inside that array, these are the values. Now after loading string helper, actually we can access the functions basically string helper provides. So what are the functions basically it provides? So if I back to documentation, now inside this documentation, as we can see that the available functions we have something called random underscore string. If I go down something called increment underscore string, we have alternator, scroll down something called repeater and many more functions basically it provides. So we are not going to see all these functions. We are going to see about the major functions that basically a string helper provides. So let's start about the first function basically it has provided. So something called random string. So what basically it is. So if I copy the function name back to our code editor and let's say that to understand about the string helper class. First of all, we are going to make a function something called a string alice underscore helper and basically inside that method we are going to use our something called random string and inside this function we have to pass some parameters so if i back to documentation so basically we have to pass as the type what basically this type is type is that what basically the random string we want something called alpha alpha num basic, numeric and so on up to SHA1. So what basically alpha is a string with lower and uppercase letters only called alpha. It means that the string which contains the characters which basically are of lower case and the uppercase. So those combinations are known as alpha category. So if I back to code editor, let's say that we are going to generate something called alpha. So it is something the type name inside the second parameter we have to pass the length so if i go up this is the length it means that what maximum length of a string we want to generate so let's say that we are going to generate about the 10 characters so if i store inside a variable so let's say a string random 
and if I echo that variable, so copy that and let's echo a string random. So if I save this, copy this string helper, go to routes.php and if I just copy and paste this line and if I comment the first line, instead of pointing to helper class, if I point to string helper, so copy the method name, go here and replace with that. Copy the route name back to browser and let's say that instead of user guide index.php and we have to type the route name. So this is learn hyphen helpers. So inside that the 10 characters we have generated about the alpha characters. It means that it has contained about the lowercase and the uppercase characters. So again if I reload this page it automatically generates the combination of alpha. It means that lowercase and uppercase random characters of length 10 characters. So if I back to editor, let's say that we are going to generate about the 20 length. So if I place 20 in place of 10, reload this page. Now as we can see that the 20 characters has been generated as the random string by combining this alpha characters. If I back to documentation, now inside this documentation, apart from alpha num, we have something called al num. It means that alpha numeric string with lowercase and the uppercase character. So if I copy this type name back to editor and if I just make copy of this, pasting it here, comment this line, copy the type and replacing with this alpha. So if I save this file back to our browser, reload this page. Now inside this, as we can see that it also contains the numeric value. It has so, it, we have called uppercase characters, lowercase characters as well as we have called numbers. So this is combination of alpha string as well as the numeric value. That's why it is known as alpha numeric values. So in the same way we can use the other types, basically the random string provides something called no zero, numeric, basic, MT5 and SH1. So all these types step by step we can pass inside random string function and we can generate what actually we need for our application. So if I scroll down, now next, the next function we have something called increment string. So if I copy this function name back to editor and if I make comment of these lines and let's say that a string variable basically contains the name of the file and something we have called file underscore one. So what basically the use of increment file or, or we have something called increment string. It means that if suppose we want to generate something called two, something called file underscore three, something called file underscore four. So how can we make use of these by using this string value? So let's say that. So echo we are going to store inside a variable and also we are going to use called the increment string and if I copy the name of the variable pasting it here it automatically increments the string by value of 1 so it generates the, the output something called file underscore 2 so if I save this file back here reload this page now as we can see that file underscore 2 again if I break this line so let's see that br tag and if I put something echo, something we are going to store inside the string value and let's say that increment a string and inside that what value actually we have stored, we are going to pass this variable right here and as we know that this file underscore 2 is stored inside this variable. So now this time basically this line has given something called file underscore 2 and this line automatically gives about the output something called file underscore 3. So if I save this controller file back here, reload this page, now as we can see that file underscore 2 and file underscore 3. So this is up all about our increment underscore string helper function. So if I scroll down, now this method, sorry, this function basically provides if suppose we have a loop. So if I back to editor, let's say that we are going to comment all these lines and inside this string helper function, we are going to make use of this statement. So if I copy this code, pasting it here, 
just I'm going to do some formatting so let's say inside this for loop firstly the loop in slices from 0 and it goes up to number 9 on getting 10 value it will return the false value so after getting inside this loop the expected output of this alternator function is something like that a string 1 for the first iteration for the second iteration it will print something called string 2 this is the second value this is 2 and in the third iteration it again let's say that is string 1 again for the next is string 2 something like that it will print up to and unless the condition will be true so if I save this file go here reload this page now as we can see that is string 1 is string 2 so if I make some spacing to these characters and save this file reload this page and string 1 a string 2, a string 1, a string 2 and so on up to the value gate increments up to 9. In place of these string values, if I let's place something called A, something called B, something called C, something called D and some spacing with these characters. So if I save this file, go here reload this page now a b c d for the first iteration for the second something called a b c d and a b so just count the characters it has something for the zero value one two three and so on up to nine by getting the tenth value of this i variable it falls and it returns the true false value and it does not go inside this for each block so this is all about the alternator function of this string helper. Basically it alternates or it prints automatically all these characters step by step unless and until the loop goes. If I back to documentation, now inside the next function what we have? So we have something called repeater. The name of the function itself clears that it repeats the string about what actual length we have passed. So if I back to editor now if I let's say that we are going to make comment of these lines and let's say that multi line comment okay now we are going to use called the repeater function so echo so if I copy the function name pasting it here and inside this repeater function let's say that online web tutor we want something 10th times means we want to print about the value online web tutor about 10 times so if I save this file go here reload this page now if we count the value something called online web tutor online web tutor online web tutor so it has printed almost 10 times so this is all about the repeater function means repeat the string what basically amount we have passed so 10 times this string will be printed what we have specified so inside this string helper there are several functions you you will find apart from this repeater something called reduce double slashes strip slashes and so on so basically we had seen about some of the major string helper functions something called random string something we have increment string alternator and the repeater function so to learn all the functions of a string helper, just move to user guide, helpers reference and stringhelper.html. You will find all the helper functions of this string helper. So inside this video session guys, if you have any doubt, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.